Is it the right time for you to be buying or selling a home? Don't go it alone. Trust the team at DanGemis.com. I just want to say kudos. I thought it. A lot of people are thinking it. You said it. This is the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show. Okay, welcome back. Yes, I am Dan Jemis in studio with me today. Well, I figured it's Mother's Day, so why not drag my wife onto the show for the... What else could I possibly be doing? <laughs> Nikki Jemis in studio with me today. <laughs> what better way to spend Mother's Day than with me? Together, staring yes. in each other's eyes. Our kid's not here in the room, which is fantastic. <laughs> you really can't have a better Mother's Day than this. I guess nice, this quiet. this is my alone time of the day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, what do you say we give away the gift card? Uh, the winner for the Richmond Popcorn Company gift card is Raymond Lampron. Congratulations, Raymond. There you go. Raymond Lampron. Congratulations to him. Uh, winner of the gift card for the Richmond Popcorn Company. There you go. Huh. What flavors would you think you should get, uh, Nick? Well, caramel, caramel, caramel corn. Yeah, sure. it's your recipe, obviously. Sure. Uh, on the phone with us right now, Chris Gibb from Gibb Insurance Brokers. Hey, Chris, how are you? Very, very good. Happy Mother's Day, uh, Nikki. Uh, I'm glad you get to spend the afternoon with with your most difficult <laughs> child. He, he is absolutely my most difficult child. You know that's true. Chris, you may have missed it. Uh, I ruined breakfast this morning, so that's how Mother's Day started. It was a disaster. Well, we didn't ruin it. It just took a long time to make with some challenges along the way, but it tasted great. You know, oh. is that that? I think that perfectly defined living with Dan Jemis. It's, there's, there's, it takes a long time and there's definite challenges along the way, but, but it does end up tasting great. The amount of people I've asked if I am the one making the ribs for Rib Fest is incredible. And I'm like, what are you, as if I would make ribs for Rib Fest. I can't handle that. No, I'm not making the ribs. Oh, it's so But funny. a bunch of food poisoning everywhere, if that was the case. Yeah. No, no, that would be yeah. No, 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 no. You you are very good at organizing events, but uh, <laughs> actually cooking, I don't know if it'd be a success. Yeah, it would not be a success. Right. It would not be. Uh, so, listen, Chris, uh, a great topic today. What are you What are you talking about? Well, you know, I thought it would be interesting to talk about uh, um, a little known but but growing part of the insurance sector is uh, identity theft and personal cyber insurance. Ah. Yes. So I, I'm assuming this is a whole separate policy, correct? This has nothing to do with our home policy? Uh, well, no, I will say with, with many, many home insurance policies, you can add a rider for identity theft. Okay. Um, and, and that would protect you in the event, uh, you know, we've all heard these news reports that you find out someone fraudulently obtained a mortgage on your property or somehow fraudulently obtained a, a credit card in your name. Your, your personal identity theft coverage, it wouldn't pay off that mortgage or that credit card, but it would provide funds for you to hire a lawyer or a, or a professional to get that cleared up and taken away from, from, uh, from being in your name. Interesting. Okay. okay. And that's just a, a very low-cost option that people can add on to their, their home or their renter's insurance. It's... Uh, it's very, very common. It's one of the fastest growing types of personal crime in, in Canada. So it's definitely something to ask your insurance professional about. You know, there was a uh, seminar that I attended uh, just last week put on by uh, the Libro Credit Union uh, at the Libro Center in Amherstburg. And uh, it was put on by uh, a constable for the police department talking about all the various types of, of fraud. Uh, and it was, it was a great crowd, like a huge crowd. And, uh, it, it was quite telling. Like, I mean, it's all stuff you don't think about. Um, and it's getting so good as of late in the last few years, these, these criminals are getting so, uh, crafty that it's fooling, mm -hmm. like, you know, even, even younger folks, naturally you think it's the older generation that gets caught up in these things, but there's some tricky stuff that, uh, it's even fooling, uh, people our age sometimes. Well, exactly. I mean, you think about it. All the all your personal information could be out there on on the internet. We constantly hear about uh, personal information being stolen from from different government entities, from hospitals, from from different businesses. So it it can happen. And the criminals are not dumb. You know, they they this is a relatively um, low penalty crime. You know. Showing up at your door with a gun, you're going to, you know, that criminal's going to jail for 20 years. But if they steal from you online, there's there's not as many penalties. So you you definitely have to protect yourself. 
Um, so listen, if, if somebody wants to learn more or consider getting uh, that coverage, uh, what's the best way to reach out to your team? Uh, best way to reach out to us is the old fashioned way. This way your, your identity is protected. You just call 519-736-8228. But, uh, or if you, if you, uh, have your, your, uh, personal cyber insurance or you have, you're not worried about it, you can email Chris at giveinsurance.ca. Now, before I let you go, Chris, I want to uh, to give a big thanks out to you and all of uh, Council in Amherstburg. Uh, you unanimously supported uh, our bringing back the Amherstburg Rib Fest, and uh, it, it means a lot that you guys were behind it and uh, and supported the event. It's huge. Well, it, thank you very much. I guess I'll, I'll I'll thank you on behalf of Town Council, but uh, I'll throw that back at you, Dan. You've been such you, Nikki, and the the entire Gemis team have been such big supporters of the town of Amherstburg and uh you you know you you you've really done a lot to to help make Amherstburg even better than it is so it's always easy to work with someone and and you and your wife and your team who who are true community boosters so back at you thank you to to you nikki and and the entire gemis team well i appreciate it and, you know this is not just us there's a whole bunch of various folks and uh community builders in amherstburg that uh i'm proud to be you know surrounded by it's it's huge right it's it makes a big difference when you have a community that's that's supportive and uh and wants to help all those succeed so it's it's great it's great to see well and and having it at the father's day weekend is probably the best time possible i mean right? i don't i don't know any other dad who you just bring him downtown amherstburg put a plate of ribs in front of him and that's all he wants <laughs> done and done that's amazing right. it's quick well, and easy <laughs> that's the plan well chris thanks as always and we'll chat with you in a couple weeks you got it all the best and and again happy mother's day to to all those uh, mothers and mother figures out there yeah same to sarah for sure Mess, uh, let her know for us you got uh, it. there you go that's chris gibb with gibb insurance brokers uh great guy and uh deputy mayor of the town of amherstburg as well so uh okay uh what do you say we take a break we're going to come back with christian janice from simply close today he's talking about the landlord tenant board oh boy yeah, it's going to be interesting, okay? It's quite the mess. So we'll talk to Krishna about that. And later on in the show, we've got some listener questions as well. And, well, Nick, uh, Nikki Jemis, my wife, uh, in the studio with me today. It's been a long time. You know, since uh, since COVID, probably, actually. I uh, Have you been on since then? It's been a couple times, a couple of little things here and there. But during COVID, it was basically just, just Nick and I, you. right? Yes. It was just yes. us doing the show. So yeah. uh, Def- It's probably honestly been, I think I've, like, peeked in really quick to say hi. But to actually be on an entire show, I'm sure has been since at least last summer, because once the kids start hockey, then I was MIA hard. Yep. since September for sure. So maybe last summer at some point, but... Well, glad to have you back. You're very People welcome. People always ask, right? And they'll hear Nikki's, Nikki's laugh somewhere in public and they say, oh my gosh, you're on the show. Yes. Yes, she is. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. We'll take a break. Come back with more right here on the Dan Gemis Real Estate Show.